Is that all you've got? Let's go over the deck real quick. Um, it has a bunch of new cards. It's similar to an older list if you are from if you've been playing Mythgard for a while, but it has it uses you know Rainbow's End with enchantments, and it uses crazy cards like Stormseer, which reduces the enchantment cost and damages the three lanes across from it. So we get to clear the way for our aggro minions um, and develop even more tempo by playing cheap enchantments um, and then Sven is the same Sven comboed with Stormseer I've managed to play a two man uh, a two mana stairway to Hades um, which is just insane Sven is just a great body and great utility card um, you get that awaken no matter what and it's not you know, specific like Stormseer with the in hand buff. Uh, it's whatever enchantment, even if it's still in your deck. And yeah, being able to play the two mana Stairway to Hades off of both of those cards is absolutely insane because you can combo it with other cards and not just spend your entire turn five uh, playing an enchantment. Um, Ruby Raider is another awesome new card that works great in this deck. We forge it for Rush. And with Speedway, we're able to, you know, get insane face damage and clear chump blockers. And then Higher Ground, the MVP of this deck. Um, this you, you don't have much draw on this deck, so you end up kind of uh, lacking resources, and every single draw matters. So this deck just lets you find the perfect answer and, you're, and find your outs when you need them. The, the forged effect on it is great, but even if you don't forge it, it's still a great card. Getting that divination three and plus one for two mana. I'll play that all day. Got other great cards like Magnus uh, to clear the way and just high tempo plays. And then another insane card in this deck is Vampire Historian. Um, this deck lets us do some crazy stuff. Uh, it's a decent sized body gives us life taps so we can raise forces answers and then it adds an amnesia spell to hand um, and this spell is so good especially because we're not running hard removal this spell allows us to do some things that you would not expect in the following game i'm going to be showing you guys how it counters a uh, reanimator and hopeless necromantic it gives us the ability to uh you know really dominate the board because nobody's going to want to contest one of your minions when they see you have an amnesia in hand and can just take that trade for free yeah it's got other rush cards and uh canine of course an insane aggro one drop that gives us a uh, plus one plus one on forged so we can play this thing and you know they might play something that to contest it we burn another canine forge it and then play a cairn henge on turn two and you know we just took whatever they contested with for free uh insane aggro card especially if they're not contesting this thing can get beefy real quick yeah the general game plan is just gonna be to go face and develop a lot of value um through enchantments. We're playing against a disc deck, most likely a reanimator deck. And luckily we have one of our three vampire historians in hand. And this is gonna be really interesting because we're going second. So what I'm saying here is that we need to be able to play vampire historian using coin onto 
because we can't let them play necromantic and trade uh trade into it here uh trade into one of our minions and reanimate so they discard living mountain sorry you guys can't see that because of the camp but that's an insane card uh that if it you know gets on the board we don't have an answer to so we have to coin out vampire historian um i can either clump up here or i can go wide uh it doesn't really make that big of a difference in this scenario um because i was thinking about forcing him it to play the ne necromantic uh but it doesn't look like he has it so we're just gonna go ahead and get the forge on higher ground and start developing the board more um, go ahead and play thane swing in get our life total up give us a nice cushion to take on this reanimator deck all right so they play Re recursionist which is pretty interesting uh they're trying to bait out the amnesia in our hand right now um, and they get that free copy on that spell so look we really want to deal with that i'm not going to use the amnesia right um i'm saving that for the necromantic they're going to be able to kill their own necromantic if they get to five mana and have necromantic and berserker sickness um, but we we're gonna hold it that's a two card combo that you know we're not gonna just assume that they're gonna have I think we need to deal with this so we can go ahead and just get some overrun damage here with that. Um, we, we'd use both blue gems to play that, to take that trade. So we're not gonna be able to play our canine, unfortunately. And we'll play something on Speedway in a minute. So here comes a Necromantic. What is lost? And it's a beautiful thing when you've got Amnesia sitting in your hand and your opponent knows it. And they just have to play it anyways because they're already on 15 life so we get we get to uh, deal with that no living mountain for you sir and the ravine guardian is definitely gonna be annoying to deal with but i think the best option here is to just take it out so we can simplify the board and not have so many blockers up uh, and we can develop a higher ground and take that trade and then play our canine on the speedway so we just cleared their board and set up again and pass your turn opponent it's looking pretty good for us we're on sitting on 40 life against 15 and let's see what they can do here yeah there's the living mountain as I said before they're they're getting to a pretty pretty decent mana size they're gonna be able to start playing some fairly large creatures here fairly large minions and they just go ahead and deport our thing which we're fine with um, we can do a we don't really want a Magnus just for that. Uh, although there is a consideration to do it, but I think we go wide here. Um, just go ahead and take that overrun damage and play these two drops we have in hand. And we get our higher ground activation. So I'm considering taking speedway or uh, stairway, sorry. And I think I don't, I, I yeah, I end up taking Historian. I'm scared of another Necromantic with Sidecar or something to really clog the board, but I don't think they could have blocked all lanes. And I think this was a misplay. I should have taken Stairway here because Stairway and Fuse um, is lethal, no matter like if they only block one lane, which they end up doing. So unfortunately, I would have had lethal if I top decked the right thing. Um, but I don't know why I was playing so defensively. I should have just gone all in. 
um, and taken the lethal line. So I just go ahead and play historian here and get him down a little further, uh, which is fine. And we get another higher ground activation. So we can, yeah, top deck is speedway here and we draw it off of rainbow. And that'll definitely help us find lethal next turn. I don't think I want to use the amnesia. I'd rather just infuse and get them closer. Uh, get closer to lethal here. And I see they have a necromantic in hand anyways, so I don't want them to clog the board. And they end up playing Traitorous Murmur. They end up playing Murmur here, uh, but this is fine because we end up having lethal. So the way damage works is damage resolves before life gain. So I'm going to end up having lethal. Um, I end up roping, <laughs> roping a tiny bit, uh, making sure that I do have lethal and I don't want to just throw this game. Uh, so yeah, I play Magnus, I do my maths, and here we go. I think it's perfect lethal. Oh, I guess I do have infused too, so could have been one over. But yeah, I could have also, I guess I could have also used Amnesia to stop the life gain either way. So I had lethal either way. There we are, promoted to Mithril 4. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this, uh, this video and play this deck because it is insane. When I first started playing it, I went 18-2 and I started in Mithril because I was champion last season. And this deck has just been running over people. Uh, it is insane value. It's got a high skill ceiling. Um, you can, if you're, if you like quick, fast games that and puzzles, lethal puzzles, this is a great deck to play. And it's it's fairly budget. It's it's not that bad. So thank you guys for watching. You can. I'm sorry about the the video how it ended up, but. If you want to see more gameplay footage that isn't dubbed, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to record some more footage. Um, and if you want to learn how to play the deck more, you can also follow me in game and look at my replays. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out all these other decks that I have um, that I played in Q mode and I uh, can't wait to share with them with you all. Thanks for watching.